Fighter jets flown by I. It has been established beyond a reasonable doubt that the Air Combat Evolution ACE, program of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, has resulted in substantial improvements in the building of artificial intelligence systems. Evidence from the scientific community has been used to guide the development of these improvements. It has been established that these gains have been produced by this program as a result of this more recent development. This is a relatively recent occurrence in the scene. The program's efforts have directly resulted in these successes, which are a direct product of the program. These accomplishments are a direct result of the program. The efforts that have been put out by the program have directly led to these results, which are a direct product of the program. A direct effect of the curriculum is the successes that have been achieved. The initial evaluation of these algorithms took place within the framework of a simulated encounter with an F-16 aircraft carrier. On the other hand, they made great progress to the point where they were able to control a real S-16 while it was in the air. Certainly, this was an impressive accomplishment. As a direct consequence of this particular incident that took place in their lives, they were put to the test for the very first time in their whole lives. In the year 2022, the programmers were able to successfully install their artificial intelligence program onto the X-62 Avista, which was a specially modified F-16 test aircraft. This accomplishment took place during the month of December. It was successful in doing so. This task was accomplished to the best of their abilities within the parameters of their capacities. A significant deal of success was achieved in this endeavor. Edwards Air Force Base, which is located in the state of California, was the location where the accomplishment in question took place. There is some uncertainty over the site of the accomplishment. The aircraft was then put through a series of different flights in a variety of different configurations throughout the subsequent flights. This was done with the intention of gaining experience with the aircraft. This action was taken in order to guarantee that the aircraft was in sufficient condition to function properly. The Autonomous Air Combat Operations AAACO, Program of the Air Force Research Laboratory and the Advanced Capability Evaluation Program ACE, of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, were both given the opportunity to demonstrate their capabilities by taking part in combat missions that were either outside of visual range or within visual range, respectively. Both of these programs were able to demonstrate their capabilities. For the purpose of demonstrating their capabilities, this was done. The abilities that they possess were able to be displayed in both of these endeavors, which is really impressive. In both of these attempts, they were able to demonstrate the capabilities that they possess, which is a very great accomplishment. Their ability to successfully demonstrate the talents that they possess in both of these pursuits is a very great accomplishment on their side. They were successful in showcasing their talents. The usefulness of the algorithms was demonstrated by the Vista aircraft, which was able to effectively carry out the flight maneuvers that were pre-prescribed and integrate them in a fluid manner while they were being carried out. This accomplishment demonstrated the effectiveness of the algorithms. Consequently, this provided evidence that the algorithms were successful. It was proved that the functionality of the algorithms was useful as a result of this. This served as an illustration of how successful the algorithms are, taking into consideration all that has been discussed earlier. Our ability to successfully carry out additional testing of two different proprietary algorithms was able to be accomplished in a relatively short period of time. In terms of the critical milestones that we were able to accomplish, this accomplishment was among the most important ones. As a direct consequence of this, one of the most major turning moments has taken place. This information was brought to light as a consequence of the fact that VISTA's testing capabilities for autonomy had been quickly accelerating as a result of this success. As a consequence of this, a critical turning point has taken place. Additionally, it functioned as a source of a considerable quantity of data that could be exploited for the development of algorithms, as well as the constant improvement of military objectives at any given moment in time. This data could be used for a variety of purposes. Both of these benefits, which had not been found in the past, were brought to light for the very first time as a direct result of this accomplishment. Previously, neither of these advantages had been discovered. In order to achieve this objective, a number of different defense organizations and companies that specialize in the development of artificial intelligence collaborated in order to make a significant contribution to the expansion of capabilities associated with artificial intelligence in military aviation. This was done in order to accomplish this goal. In order to accomplish the objective, this was carried out. 
This course of action was adopted in order to accomplish the end goal that was sought. The presentation of this work was made possible as a result of the collaboration that took place between either of these two organizations. The relationship was the driving force behind this accomplishment, and it was attainable as a result of that. Shi Lai, Sebi Physics I, and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory were among the performers who piloted the Vista aircraft in order to test a variety of F-16 artificial intelligence algorithms. The purpose of the testing was to determine how well the algorithms performed. These persons were among the performers who took part in the experiment since they were participants. The testing was carried out with the purpose of determining the degree to which the algorithms operated effectively in the context that was provided. These individuals were among the performers who took part in the experiment since they were persons who participated in the experiment. These individuals were also among the participants. The test that was carried out was designed to evaluate the efficiency of the algorithms which allowed for the determination of the extent to which the algorithms were successful or unsuccessful. An organization known as DARPA, which is an abbreviation that stands for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, was the one that made use of these performances. The acronym DARPA is frequently used to refer to the organization. A comparison was conducted between the data that was obtained through simulation and the results that were gained through live flight testing. It was found that there were differences between the two sets of findings that were uncovered. As a consequence of this, the significance of conducting testing in real-world flight conditions is brought into high relief. Nevertheless, in spite of the fact that the application of the testing method did not result in the visible manifestation of any serious problems, it was observed that there were inconsistencies. In order to provide assistance to the Air Combat Experience ACE, program, the Air Force Test Pilot School TPS, conducted an evaluation to determine the degree of confidence that pilots had in artificial intelligence agents while they were participating in air combat simulations that took place within visible range. This assessment was carried out with the purpose of determining the degree of confidence that pilots had in the assistance to pilots ACE program. Those that participated in these simulations were Air Force personnel, and they were responsible for themselves throughout the process. This step was taken in order to provide aid in order to assist the program that was being carried out. The goal of this step was to provide assistance. 2019 marked the beginning of the ACE project, which was initiated with the intention of producing human-level artificial intelligence-driven autonomy that is trustworthy and scalable for use in air combat. This project was initiated from the beginning of 2019. The project was started with the intention of manufacturing aircraft that are capable of engaging in air combat and are capable of operating independently. 2019 is the year when the project was first started from scratch. It was with the intention of accomplishing this particular goal that the initiative was initially started in the first place. Alpha dogfight trials were conducted during the month of August in the year 2020 with the intention of exhibiting the capabilities of artificial intelligence in the context of air combat circumstances. These trials were carried out in order to demonstrate the capabilities of an artificial intelligence system. These experiments could not be carried out without first being planned out, which was a prerequisite for their execution. In the course of the Alpha Dogfight series, the demonstration was carried out. It was completed during the course of the series. The final touches were applied to it. When the series was still in the process of being produced, an important step forward was taken as a consequence of the outcomes of these tests, which paved the way for subsequent achievements in artificial intelligence-driven autonomy for military applications. In this way, the path was paved for the development of technological advancements in the military. It was a huge step in the right direction from the beginning. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.